going back to um, the the idea or the the tendency to stop communications uh, for an extended period of time and you know stop communicating for an extended period of time, whether it's you know a you know major crisis like COVID or your garden variety you know recessions and whatnot. I guess why is that why is that a mistake? What kind of problems does that ultimately uh, lead to? Well, let's speak to the communication portion of it because I think that's where the greatest amount of damage can occur by by um, by stopping your communication, stopping your investment in that. And that's because you uh, I mentioned before all the vested audiences that you have. Um, leadership within a company or leadership within a country, whatever it might be, or a city or, or a state, um, people look to that leadership. There's a trust in that leadership that they're going to be able to share. What does this mean to my job? What does this mean to my business? What does this mean to me? And then they trust that, that um, that's something that others that they look for leadership are going to pay attention to and address. Thus, the importance of the communication. It's important to the employees, the distribution partners, the, um, the customers, the vendors. And so um, if you choose not to communicate, you've now just um, um, put in position an opportunity for that trust to be eroded. If you say nothing, um, then other people are going to start to define you and your brand and your approach um, for you. 